so hello <laughs> and this is the truth about men yeah we go there you go put me, put me up some more so what is this this is a channel where i me kieran i'm an author and a men's dating coach and I'm demystifying what men do, why men do the things that they do so that you can navigate your dating life in the most comfortable way for you. Now, I don't agree with the things that I am saying. So when I say why a man has done something, that is not me saying I agree with what he has done per se. It is me just explaining what's going on in the head of that male. Now here, Today, I'm here with my ex, Mary Nikki, the yoga teacher and interior designer extraordinaire. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. So basically, let's get on to it. So we have had a letter or an email that's been sent in from a user, reader, listener, a watcher. My boyfriend is a lovely guy, but he can be vicious with men who are speaking to me. For instance, I have an ex who I split up with, but never really lost contact with. At some point, this ex tried to get back together with me and my boyfriend left him some very vicious voice notes. They were really harsh and he took full advantage of secrets that I had told him about my ex to make my ex feel really small. In fact, he actually traumatized my ex in the process. Then there was a man who I had a date with and this man was also sending me messages. She had a date with this man at some point in the past. Trying to get me to go out with him again. My boyfriend messaged him on Instagram and threatened his life. Why is my boyfriend being so vicious and violent? I don't know, it's weird because um, when exes pop up from the past, mm. uh, always people use, feel quite insecure. Mm. So I feel that basically this girl didn't make a good job to reassure her boyfriend that the exes are just exes. But also I find his reaction a bit too much. I feel like he felt that he has to prove himself somehow. Let me explain what's going on from the male perspective then. So basically it's kind of like this. Part about being a man means being prepared to be violent. That's actually a large part of being a man. For instance, you're walking down the street with your boyfriend and some guy tries to mug you or attack you or something. You now expect your boyfriend to step up and look after you, don't you? Yeah. Okay, and if he doesn't, he's a pussy and you're never going to get wet for him again, yeah? Well, you go too far. <laughs> I wouldn't call him a pussy. You're but it would be nice. Uh, no, I mean... You are with your boyfriend. Some guy grabs your butt or acts in a threatening way to you and your boyfriend runs away what do you do how do you i would be upset but i wouldn't go so far to call him a pussy but how would you look at him do you look i would be disappointed same very yeah are you attracted to him anymore you know i give chances don't you hmm? i give chances if that happened you would look at your boyfriend in a new light i would talk to him i would say you know my life was uh, threatened and you uh, you didn't you didn't do anything about it i mean i would do as a woman if his life um, was threatened most men kind of live in a world where we feel as though it is on us to be the protector in these kinds of situations to be and fair i have i have heard this from men who have dated yeah yeah mm. now another thing is this so these exes well, these men are literally trying to get with this woman. She has an ex who's trying to get back together with her. And she has a guy that she had a date with who's also trying to get with her. Mm -hmm. Now, to be fair, she shouldn't be speaking to either of these men at all. Mm -hmm. Because it's an ex, right? And yep. when this ex is messaging her, she should not be entertaining the ex and responding to his messages. She should not be doing that. Exactly. Especially with the guy who she also had the date with. Yep. But she is, right? because she sees herself as a nice person or maybe she likes the attention or whatever it is and she's still speaking to them. Now, what does the boyfriend do to get rid of that guy? The boyfriend has basically three options. Option number one, let it slide and just carry on, right? But the thing is, if he lets it slide and carry on, maybe one day when he does something to offend his girlfriend, like he, he pisses her off in some way. Mm -hmm. And in that moment of weakness, that's the moment when the ex swoops in. Hey, how you doing? 
Mm. I'm not feeling too good. Why? Why are you not feeling too good? Because of Dave, he did this thing. And, oh, well, let's let's have a talk about it. Come, like, come around to my place. Let's talk. Okay. Now, the boyfriend's worried about that. Maybe that never happens, but that's a very real fear that's in the boyfriend's head. Or number two, he basically tells her to stop speaking to him, which he probably has done. The odds of him not doing that are kind of slim. Option number three, he tells the exes to get the freak away. Now, in order to make sure that they go away, he has to get vicious. I have a girlfriend and some man is messaging my girlfriend. And this man is like, I know that you got a man, but I don't give a shit. I still want to fuck you. I have to show him that carrying on is worse for him than leaving it. You know, there's a chance of him getting with my girlfriend and he can experience the delights of her body, right? Or there's what would happen, like what I will do to him. And I have to make him fear that, which means tapping into something dark in order to get rid of him. And the simple truth is, as a man, you kind of need to do that. Otherwise, the guy's just like going to carry on because he's being this man. These men who are trying to get with the woman they don't give a shit because they know that she's got a boyfriend. And but like, fuck the boyfriend. Who gives a fuck? This, what can this guy do to me? I'm willing to take the risk. So he felt minimized. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right. Think about it. So let's say you're with a guy and there's some woman who is messaging your man and she knows that you're with him. Mm -hmm. She's basically saying, fuck Mary and Nikki. I don't give a shit. There's a certain level of disrespect about you. She sees you as nothing. Yeah. Mm. She has no fear over you or any consequences you might bring down upon her. Yeah. Mm. But it's also, it would be my boyfriend's mistake to let her in. Mm. It would be. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're <Sorry>. getting excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would be also, I think like both sides are wrong mm, yeah from her side it's wrong because she leaves these men texting and from your side yeah the, what he did it's a bit too much why why is it too much because he felt like he's allowed to take your phone and text to these people mm. or even i don't know how he texted did he take your fo phone did he find his profile i don't know but Anyway, he, he felt like he's allowed to do that. Okay, so here is the thing, right? So in an ideal world, should he be messaging men who are trying to message his girlfriend? No. But you know, they say all is fair in love and war. So it's like from his perspective, he either sits down and does nothing or he basically just gets rid of the threat. And she said that he traumatized her ex. That meant he got rid of the threat. The threat's gone. The ex is now no longer messaging his girlfriend. Job done. <laughs> Job done. So honestly, okay, so what is my final verdict? That's what I basically feel. I kind of side with the boyfriend, although I feel like to be fair, if you have a girlfriend who is entertaining messages from other men, that's probably something to look at and you probably should leave that situation anyway because yep. you shouldn't be entertaining those messages. However, within the frame of the fact that you're staying in there and you're not leaving, you'll get rid of the threat. But anyway, ba that's basically what's going on. As a man, like there's a certain level of violence that men kind of understand. And it's speaking like male language. The reason why the ex was traumatized was because it, whatever it was that he said to the ex really spoke to him. He's like, whoa, do I really want to go through this? I actually don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Go on, hit me. No, I'm just thinking. Like, I'm just, I just feel like both sides are wrong. But because this show is about it's about men, mm. we talk about the man side. Mm. I just want to say that even the woman had was wrong there. Mm. Um, it's very mature. So right? yeah, okay, being mature. I mean, you know, I'm a woman, but when something is wrong, it's just wrong. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we have to be fair. Yeah, there we go. 
and uh, that is it for the video. So um, if you like the cut of uh, our jib, essentially what should you do? You should like this video. You should also uh, subscribe to the channel and slam that notification bell as well so that you can be updated of all of um, my new uploads, my updates. So thank you and see you later. So guess what? I want to um, interrupt this video to let you know that I'm also an author. I'm not just a dating coach, but I'm also an author too. And I've written a book that I spent a ton of time working on. It is called Preeta's Web of Chaos and it is a young girl's journey of transformation. Now what happens is that she encounters some situations that are really hard for her to deal with. They scare her, they terrify her, they push her outside of her comfort zone and as a result of dealing with these hardships she learns to find a strength a resilience a courageousness and a power inside her that she did not know actually existed like i said i tried really hard with this book and the reason why i write it is because i wrote it is because i love to write stories it's the main thing that i would want to do and i just want to share my passion with the world so if you could find it in your heart to give it a try there's a link in the description i'll just love you for life